Hello. Today we are going to demonstrate how to use a rotary hammer with a plugging chisel attachment to remove deteriorated mortar from a brick wall. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has found by using this tool you can reduce silica dust 88 to 91 percent as opposed to using a traditional grinder. Read the tool manual for safety, operational, and maintenance information. Also, be sure to wear eye and hearing protection, gloves, and a respirator with N95 filters. Select a chisel appropriate for your tuck pointing job. The chisels have a flat face with a blunt tip to help avoid damage to brickwork. Widths of 1 quarter and 3 eighths prevent jamming. Plunge tips allow you to remove mortar to the proper depth. You will also need to fit the rotary hammer with an exhaust hood to reduce airborne dust. Verify that the vacuum cleaner has a filter system appropriate for silica dust. Poor filtration can result in inadequate dust control and possible damage to the vacuum. If your vacuum doesn't have a filter cleaning mechanism, use a pre-separator to remove debris before it clogs the vacuum. Failure to use the dust exhaust hood when removing mortar increases your exposure to harmful silica dust. While I'm removing the mortar, we're going to monitor my exposure to respirable dust. You'll see a screen overlay of dust levels recorded in real time. Hold the tool with both hands. When using a rotary hammer and plugging chisel, the amount of pressure that should be applied is dependent upon the hardness of the mortar. Soft materials require less pressure while hard materials need more pressure. The plugging chisel is designed to crush mortar while preserving brick because the knife has no sharp edges. Be warned, you can damage bricks if you fail to hold the hammer in a steady manner. Make sharp, straight edge cuts. Standard chisels and blades can leave half moon cuts in the brick. Keep your hands steady and take frequent breaks. Make sure to gently score along your cut line. You don't want to damage the brick face. Next, I'll show you how to work in corner spaces and score vertical joints. If you do find you're damaging brick, select a thinner mortar knife for the job or choose a different tool. Examine your hammer for any maintenance issues. To reduce the risk of serious personal injury, Unplug the hammer before making any adjustments or removing or installing attachments or accessories. Remember, you only have one pair of lungs. Work with your employer to keep them healthy.